Hi folks, um, today we'll start with some tests of alcohol. The very first test that we have gone already gone through is the action of active metals on alcohols. It's just a recapitulation of what we have uh, done before. Alcohols, when reacts with active metals, they liberate hydrogen gas. So, this hydrogen gas, as we know, burns with a pop sound. All right, and the order of reactivity is three degree alcohols greater than two degree alcohols greater than one degree alcohol greater than methyl alcohol. So in this reaction, this is a direct test of the presence of an acidic H in any of the compounds. So when this test gives a positive result, that is, uh, when a hydrogen gas is liberated, we know that the compound has acidic H in it. All right. So this is the first basic preliminary uh, preliminary tests of alcohol. So now we move on to a very famous test known as the Lucas test. Okay, Lucas test. This is a test which is used to distinguish between or differentiate between one degree, two degree, and three degree alcohols. So I'll first write down the reagents used. So, the reagent used is ZnCl2 plus concentrated HCl. So, this is the reagent used. Actually, uh, alcohols do not readily react with HCl. It needs a catalyst that will speed up the process that will enhance the rate of reaction of alcohols with HCl and will get the products sooner. Alright, so what happens is in this test is that when uh, the alcohols react with uh, ZnCl2 and concentrated HCl, we get precipitate. Alright, so in 3 degree alcohols, we get fastest precipitation all right so this reacts fastest because it's the alcohol in this case is attached to a 3 degree carbon this is the 3 degree carbon which forms most stable carbocation all right so in the process of this test a, th a carbocation is being formed all right so the most stable carbocation formation will lead to most stable rate of reactions all right so in case of uh, 3 degree alcohol we get a fastest ppt the final reagent the final product is of course an alkyl halide all right so we saw that three degree alcohols because of the formation of a three degree carbocation will form the ppt fastest all right followed by two degree alcohol and followed by one degree alcohol all right actually three degree alcohol forms the ppt instantly so we get instant precipitate in a, in the case of two degree alcohols the precipitate is found within five to ten minutes of the reaction all right so we get the ppt the precipitate within five to ten minutes of the reaction and in in the case of one degree alcohol we do not get any 
PPT or precipitate. So, Lucas test is a very elegant test which is used to distinguish between a 3 degree, 2 degree and a 1 degree alcohol. The reagent used are ZnCl2 and HCl. ZnCl2 here acts as the catalyst. Alright. So, as soon as we uh, uh, start this test using a 3 degree alcohol, no sooner do we add this, uh, this reagents, we get a PPT. We get an instant precipitation. Alright. If the PPT is obtained within 5 to 10 minutes of the reaction, we are sure that this is a 2 degree alcohol and if the PPT is not obtained in the course of the reaction then we, uh, we then we know that this is a 1 degree alcohol all right so lucas test is used to distinguish between 3 degree 2 degree and 1 degree alcohol as far as questions are concerned the questions will be given as such like uh, we, uh, the questions will be like if we uh, have uh, uh, if we have a compound like C5H11O all right and it's given that uh, after adding Lucas reagents to C5H11O we get an instant PPT so what do we know about this compound we know that this is a 3 degree alcohol this is the inference that we draw from this reaction all right if it is given that the PPT is obtained within 5 to 10 minutes we know that this is a 2 degree alcohol and if it is given that no PPT is obtained we know this is a 1 degree alcohol alright so I hope you understand what is uh, what is Lucas test is what a Lucas test is alright so the next test is the iodoform test this is a very famous test the iodoform test alright actually it is more if we write it a more in a more um, common manner we can write it as the haloform test all right iodoform has the formula chi3 and haloforms have the formula chx3 like iodoform if it is chf3 it's fluoroform chbr3 bromoform chcl3 chloroform all right so this is the uh, general haloform test i'll discuss it in detail all right so i'll uh, i'll discuss iodoform test in points uh, let us write some points on the iodoform test all right so alcohols or the alcohol group attached with second least carbon of longest chain with a terminal alkyl group this is very important so all those alcohols who have at least uh, who has a terminal alkyl group attached to it will show out of form test uh, let us take some examples like this so this alcohol has at least one in this case a CH3 group attached to it it's a terminal alkyl group it's a terminal alkyl group all right so this one has a terminal alkyl group okay but to be more specific this alkyl needs to be a methyl group all right as in this case this alcohol won't show iodoform tests all right so the alcohols which has a terminal ch3 group attached to it will show iodoform this do not this alcohol does not have a ch3 terminal group attached to it so this won't show iodoform this will show iodoform test all right so uh, let's make this very clear that any alcohol with a terminal methyl group can show iodoform test again I said it can show I didn't say it will show so we'll we'll look into some details of this reaction that uh, there are cases in which 
uh, terminal uh, alcohol having a terminal alkyl group even if even after having a terminal alkyl group does not show out of test but we'll go through those uh, reactions in a while from now okay so